Good morning, Lehman Eye Town. Welcome to our first annual, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll be an annual outdoor service. Um, today we're having a hymn sing, the blessing of the backpacks, followed by a covered dish dinner. So you folks on Zoom, we're glad you could join us, but you're missing out on all the good aromas here. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to start with a few announcements. A great big thank you to Lee Swan and Ruth Jones and all those who have been helping Mandy this week in the basement. I think they're just about ready to start adding some dry lock to the walls. The Fair Workers meal is back and it's coming up a week from Tuesday. In the back of the sanctuary, there were some sign-up sheets. Please carefully consider how you can help support feeding the fair workers this year. Um, Ad Council will be meeting Tuesday at 6.30. There is a Zoom option available, so please let Amy know if you would like to join through Zoom. Wednesday evening, the Lay Leadership and Nominations Committee will be meeting here at the church at 6.30. Again, there will be a Zoom option. At Sunday School, there's a meeting coming up Thursday evening. This is a meeting week, it sounds like. And uh, that will be 7 o'clock here at the church in person. Are there other announcements I may have missed? Uh, you may have noticed an insert in your bulletin. If you currently serve on a committee or in some leadership capacity, please fill this out and let us know if you want to continue doing what you do or if you would like to take a break or if you would like to take a break from what you're doing but you might be interested in something else. And for anybody, if you... Uh, know somebody who is gifted and feel they would be good serving on the Ad Council, on finance, on worship, however you see them using their gifts. Feel free to fill this out and recommend them and say why and what you're recommending them for. Are there any other announcements I may have missed? Then let's take a few moments to prepare our hearts for worship. Linda. <laughs> and thank you for being flexible and willing to play outside in God's beautiful creation today. Well, 
everybody join me in the opening prayer found in your bulletins this morning. Let us pray together. Glorious God, source of joy and righteousness, enable us as redeemed and forgiven children evermore to rejoice in singing your praises. Grant that what we sing with our lips, we may believe in our hearts. And what we believe in our hearts, we may practice in our lives. So that being doers of the word and not hearers only, we may receive everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Would somebody like to pick out a hymn that we can start with and we'll sing the first and last verses? Call out a title or a number. For the beauty of the earth, she got us started. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea what number there? 92. What is it? 92. 92. 92. And hey, folks on Zoom, if you have a favorite hymn you'd like to sing, go ahead and message it in the chat box and Laura can let us know. And we'll, we'll get the number then. Right now, number 92, for the beauty of the earth, verses 1 and 6. All hail the power of Jesus' name. And again, we'll do the first and last verses. 155.
please turn in the back of your hymnals to number 862, Psalm 150. Page 862, Psalm 150, and let's read it responsibly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise God in his mighty permanent. Praise God for his mighty deeds. Praise God for his exceeding greatness. Praise God with trumpet sound. Praise God with lute and harp. Praise God with tambourine and dance. Praise God with strings and pipe. Praise God with sounding cymbals. Praise God with loud crashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What's our next song of praise going to be? 593. 593. Here I am, Lord. Okay, this is kind of a shorter one. Can we do all three verses? Sure. All right, 593, here I am.
have your soup ladles, your whistles, your keys, whatever it is, and come on up front. In the meantime, everybody be thinking of the next hymn you want to sing, and those online, don't forget, you can always type in what you'd like to sing or just call it out, and Mara will hear and let us know. All right, look at everybody. We have Patrick and Annie and Paisley's back today. Welcome. Are you all ready for school? You ready to go back? Okay, you have all kinds of new notebooks and pencils. All right, new sneakers. That was always the fun thing to get, isn't it? New sneakers. Okay, well today, if you have an elementary student, I invite you as the parent or grandparent to please read for them the light print in the bulletin. And everybody else will then respond with the dark print. And I invite you as you're sitting down to raise your hand and point it upward as a blessing on these young people. Let us pray together. Elementary students. All of whom much is given, much is required. May learning be your greatest desire. Okay, middle school, junior high, students, parents, grandparents. As I move from class to class, guide my footsteps, clear my path. Keep my tongue to speak your words. Let your will for me be heard. All of whom much is given, much is required. May learning be your greatest desire. High school students and their family members, in every subject, high or low, may God's excellence be shown. Keep me strong to reach the prize, to grow in grace, becoming wise. All of whom much is given, much is required. May learning be your greatest desire. College students and family, whether far from home or near, may I hold God's precepts dear. To do my best at every task, for this blessing I do ask. All of whom much is given, much is required. May learning be your greatest desire. Non-traditional and graduate adult students, help my family be a part as I lift my mind and heart. As I study, work, and pray, be with them throughout the day. All of whom much is given, much is required. May learning be your greatest desire. Let us pray. Lord God, be with all of those returning to school this year. Keep them safe and healthy in your care. And Lord, may learning be their greatest desire. Let these children know that you go with them and that you love them. We pray this in Jesus' name and all God's children said, Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks for coming up this morning. Who's got a song to sing? 156. <laughs> I heard 156 first. <laughs> uh, this is good. We'll do 156, right? All right. I love to tell the st story, first and last verse, 156.
did such a good job when telling the story, I know you can sing this one out. <laughs> there. Good job, everyone. But that's a great way to lead into, we all need prayer. Where would you like to have prayer this week? Whether it's joys, concerns, or maybe you encountered God somewhere you'd like to share. Susie's hand is just dying to go up. <laughs> because many churches that I've spoken in, the pianist or organist, they'll say, here are the songs that you can pick, and there's only like five songs because they won't play any fortunate and blessed to have Linda who just picks up and can play anything out of the hymnal. And so, yeah. Okay. And I want to say thank you to everyone for the prayers for my cousin Ann and her husband, but they're doing very well with the COVID. They're coming along. Did not have to go to the hospital. Good. Good. Her cousin Ann and husband are coming on along very well with healing from COVID, and they did not have to go to the hospital. Jean. Or Jane. <laughs> for the Madry family whose father died this week and prayers for Thanksgiving for your brother-in-law son-in-law son sorry the pen didn't write so I'm not taking notes this morning <laughs> uh, who came through his shoulder surgery well Laura Jay, who lost his Dave Walters. Dave, who lost his job, and for Matthew, 
Matthew who has job decisions to make. Please wait. Prayers for the teachers. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Lois. Uh, prayers for my son, Tom. He's um, getting ready for um, hip surgery, and he's having some a lot of pain. For your son, Tom, who will be having hip surgery, and he's in a lot of pain. Judy. Hold on. <laughs> Prayers for the refugees waiting for a ride or some place safe safe place. The Afghan refugees that they can be evacuated or find a safe place. And for our service people, yes. Bev, you've been patient. <laughs> yeah, we had three joys this week. Oh great. Yes. Um, my cousin Tim who had the bone marrow transplant and was a success and he's now home. Tim, who had the bone marrow transplant successfully, is now home. And we had a new great-granddaughter born on Thursday. A new every, mom and baby doing great. well? Went home the next day. Okay. And um, yesterday, Corey, who we've been praying for, was married. <gasps> Corey oh. got married yesterday. And wonderful. She was beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Amazing. Now, I've seen other hands going up. Yes, Diane. Um. Frank Laddish passed, so any prayers for his family, and especially his brother Michael needs prayers for guidance. Frank Laddish, whom we've been praying for, passed away this week, and his brother Michael, who needs guidance. Jean. yesterday and it's under 40. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Others. Cindy. First for my cousin Greg and his family. For your cousin Ray and his Greg. Greg. Greg and his family. All right, Judy. And for Janet Eddie, if anybody needs her address that I haven't given to, I've got her address. Okay. Prayers for Janet Eddie. Please continue. Others. Okay, Jean. My grandson Greg was moving back to Arlington, Virginia. He's been the only catalytic for the last four years. Your grandson Greg, who was moving back to Virginia. All right. Anyone else? Please. Go ahead. Yes. Please keep Brian's mother Sandy in prayer. In the wee hours of last Sunday morning, she fell and broke her wrist. And Friday, she had surgery and some pins put in it. So please keep Sandy in prayer. We had a God moment last Sunday after church. We went to um, we went to the Olive Garden for lunch. And as we were sitting there looking out the window, and it was sprinkling a little bit, this gentleman got out of his car went around, took the umbrella out, and held it over. I took it to be his wife, and they looked like they had been married for close to 50 years. But he was just so considerate, the way he was caring for her and helping her out with the umbrella. And the look on her face showed how much she appreciated it, that she just had this huge grin, and when she did get out, she put her arm around his waist, and that's how they walked into the restaurant together then. And it was just beautiful to see. Others. Yes, Lee. Uh, the people of uh, New Orleans who are in the path of that hurricane. Yes. And uh, any former Haiti victims. Haiti victims, those in Haiti who have been victims is with tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, and those in New Orleans in the path of Hurricane Ida coming through now. Any others? Let's unite our hearts in prayer. Holy and gracious God, 
what a day it is that we can come together outside, underneath the beauty and vastness of your sanctuary in the midst of your creation. What a day it is, Lord, that we can raise our voices up together in praise and song. And what a day, oh Lord, that we can sit here together sharing moments that have brought joy and laughter to our lives and share that joy and laughter with others. And yet we can also be here standing in the need of prayer, knowing that you will listen and hear every word that we say and that you hear every word that we don't say but long to. Hear us now, O oh God, as we speak to you heart to heart in the silence of your creation. As we turn our eyes upon you, O oh Jesus, hear our prayers. Where there is grief and sorrow, wrap them in your comfort, fill them with your peace that passes all understanding. Where there is sickness, reach down with your healing touch, restoring body, mind, spirit. And for those who are struggling, O oh Lord, those who are wandering lost and alone in this world and they feel like they're just being swallowed up by the darkness may the light of your hope the light of your love shine bright and give them courage and strength may they turn their eyes upon you and find the solace and the peace that they seek. Lord, we pray a special prayer this day for our service people, whether they are overseas or at home, and for their loved ones who wonder and worry about where they are. We thank you for the sacrifices they make. And we pray, Lord, that those who are seeking a refuge would find one, that they would turn and find shelter and safety someplace in this world and that they too, if they haven't already, would seek and find the shelter of your arms. This we all pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who's got the next song? 43. 43? Nope. 143. 143. All right. One forty three, and let's sing it through twice on Eagle's Wings. And God will
hate you, Paisley. <laughs> Three seventy. <clears throat>
first and last verse, 261, Lord of the Dance. And again, let's do verses 1 and 6. it was through amazing grace that Jesus was sent to us, that God loved us so much that he sent his only son to live a life that we live, to die a death so we didn't have to. It is through that love and grace that we are given from Christ that we are promised a life eternal where we will someday walk those streets of gold that we sang about this morning. And it was on that night in which Jesus was betrayed that he gathered in an upper room with his very best friends all around him. And they shared a meal together that for generations had been shared. But at the end of that Passover dinner, Jesus did something new. He took a loaf of bread. He gave thanks to God and broke it. And then he shared it with all of those, his closest, dearest friends, who were gathered there with him and said, Take and eat, for this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, <coughs> He took a cup and he raised it up giving thanks to God and then he shared it too with his disciples and friends and he said take and drink for this 
this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you drink this, do it in remembrance of me. We ask, Lord, on this day, as we are gathered here, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit on all of those who are gathered this day in your creation and who are joining us through technology and on these gifts of bread and juice, that you would make them be for us the body and blood of Christ as we unite together to be the body of Christ in this world to go and be the hands and feet of Jesus, spreading his love, his peace, his mercy with this world. We pray this all together as we unite our voices and our hearts boldly in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is kingdom, and power, and glory forever. Amen. This morning you will have a choice to receive the self-serve, single-serve cups we have been using, or to be handed a piece of bread to dip into the grape juice. I'd like to invite Annie to come up. She's going to be our helper today. And for the rest of you, I invite you to stand up and let's make a circle. We'll have communion in the round, and we will bring this around to you. It's okay to say no to the bread and the juice and to take the cup instead if you would like.
drink and eat the body and the blood of Christ given for you. Amen. Eternal God, thank you for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself up for us. Thank you for the amazing grace, the gift of love you have given to us. Keep our eyes fixed and focused on you, Lord, filling us with your Holy Spirit as we go through this world. And Lord, as we prepare to leave this table of yours to join together at another table, one prepared with hands of love and hearts that are overflowing. We thank you and give you praise and glory and ask, Lord, that you would continue to be present at every table we gather at this day and in the years and days to come. Thank you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. This is going to conclude our service. We'll take a few minutes to finish setting up back there, and then uh, we'll start going down the serving line. Even if people forgot to bring something, there's plenty. There's plenty of food, yes. Um,